Welcome to War Thunder Naval Forces. In this video we're going to be looking at some of the destroyers and Gunners airplanes that the US has targets. at the 4.3 battle rating. Specifically the USS Phelps and the USS Cowell. We know we want to head towards Charlie, so we're going to go ahead and start turning over that way. In these destroyers we'll have a little bit more luck when we can move around some more. Bravo is in the center, and that's where all the PT boats are going to end up being, but that is not where you necessarily want to end up. It's a good spot for PT boats, but we'll have a tough time as a destroyer. Now we could just see one of the destroyers coming in on the other side. Fire off a volley at them just to, just to see if we can get any hits. Ideally, if we're able to see any of the PT boats through the trees here we might get a hit but now that the destroyers over on the other side are starting to get within uh, within view we might as well start getting ready for them so we go ahead and send a screen while we still have a shot through that window launch some of those torpedoes since we're in arcade here we're able to reload some of our torpedoes so we're going to go ahead and fire off the last of those even though they're not actually going to hit anything we just want to get them out so that way we can get a whole new reload after that. So now we want to try and get into Charlie, but since we have a good forward facing armament, we are going to try and engage these destroyers as we're moving in. Unfortunately, as they keep moving through, those trees are going to start getting in the way. So once we're able to, we're going to try and veer off a little bit, so that way we can uh, engage them with more of that broadside. There you can see that uh, torpedoes have reloaded, so once we get a chance to fire them off, hopefully we'll be able to get them into this hornet's nest. Ideally, we shouldn't be locked on to this one destroyer, especially not when they're uh, you know, fire when we're firing through the trees, but you know, as it goes, you can see that we've had to start engaging some repairs. We're starting to get hit as well. You can see over in that bottom left that we're starting to take some hits. Thankfully we've changed course before and by heading closer into Charlie we managed to avoid that original set of torpedoes. And now they're trying to predict where we're gonna be we're moving to much slower and now we're going to launch the rest of those torpedoes hopefully that'll do something for us we are definitely the center of attention hopefully we're able to capture this zone before they take us out alright, we captured the zone we are definitely about to get lit up here though <laughs> So. So if we managed to get somebody with the uh, main guns, but you can already see one of those torpedo trails coming in. We are, we're not going to have a good time here. <laughs> so, and that's it. So even though we're technically still in the fight, we won't be able to repair the damage that we've taken, and we're pretty much done. There you go. So it looks like our team is doing a lot of uh, good capturing. So rather than trying to push for uh, control of the, the cap zones, we we'll go ahead and switch over to a plane. See if we can uh, fence off some of those areas. So this particular plane has, uh, with these dual torpedoes that 
can be deployed pretty fast. This is a great plane for screening because those twin torpedoes are great. So here we're kind of scouting out for those different locations. We're going to see if Charlie really is where we want to stay. And I think it is because nobody else seems to be going over to that other side. And anytime you can kind of find some dense, uh, dense groups of players, that's real good because these, uh, these torpedoes are strong enough that sometimes you can take out more than one target with a single torpedo. So we're going to try and get in low so that way we're not spending too much time exposed to the anti-air. I'm going to drop one, just hedge our bets, and then drop the other, try and get out of the way. Try and maneuver a little bit. But it looks like they saw us, and so we're not going to get that kill there, fortunately. But we do have an opportunity to reload and try again. So we'll come around and see if we get the thing aside this time. Ooh, you can see that anti-air fire coming through there. So we'll try and keep moving around a little bit so that way we don't uh, too predictable the path. In the top left, you can see that we've still got a little bit more time before those torpedoes reload, so now we're ready, and it looks like they got hit. So, let's see if we can get something out of this. Looks like there's a bunch of people going to be coming through there trying to get into Charlie, so let's drop a couple of these torpedoes and get out of dodge before those, uh, before those <laughs> get us. Those gentle movements up and down will hopefully keep us from missed that first one, but it looks like they're very dense in there. I think we're probably gonna get at least one of them. Yeah. It does pay to pay attention to where you're actually flying. Looks like we didn't get our elevation right. But that's alright, we still want to get back into the fight, so now we're moving up from the cowl into the uh, USS Phelps. So here we're going to... Alright, we see that's one of the guys that managed to dodge us before, so let's see if we can get him before he takes Charlie. Now we've got them dialed in, keep leading our shots. At this point we're controlling the distance, using the scroll wheel to make sure that we're getting the, uh, the right distance and drop those in right over that, uh, that island. Sometimes they can give you a little protection when you're up close, but once you get far enough away, uh, your shots are arcing so much that they're just not, not doing too much for you. So here you can see we've got a destroyer that managed to get into Bravo. So I'm going to call our team to try and take him on. Hopefully that'll help us some. See that there's a plane up there. That may give us some trouble a little bit later, but we want to stay focused on this guy. Make sure. So we're having to account for our speed and also our opponent's speed. It looked like they were turning in that spot. So we're landing a couple by curving in there, but it actually looks like this game's going to end pretty fast, so we're going to go ahead and drop some torpedoes, kind of heading off into Bravo just to hedge our bets, kind of block off that area. But it looks like... Looks like the match is going to end just right there, but that's about it. So, that's uh, U.S. Destroyers in a nutshell. Hope you had fun watching.